Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Finback Monday Green. So the Mondegreen, this is an interesting beer. Uh, it says, well, let's read this because it's it's going to be complicated. Finback, Mondegreen, Pilsner aged in oak with Bretomyces. So a Pilsner with sour qualities, I'm guessing. Mm. Something like that. Slightly tart, maybe not so much sour. Yeah. Uh, this is brewed in collaboration with Rockwell Beer Company. Um, dry hop with Saz and Rakow. Rakow? Mm, okay. I don't know how to pronounce that. Breeding collaboration with Rockwell. Serve, it says serve properly and enjoy with good company. Well, we've got at least one of those yeah. handled. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to properly serve this, but it says 48 degrees. I'm gonna guess this is about 38 degrees. So you get what you get with free YouTube content. All right, let's pour this bad boy out and see what we're looking at. I'm gonna take a sampling. Right off the cut, it looks kind of carbonate-y. It looks it, unfiltered. It, yeah. Unfiltered Pilsner, for sure. I would expect uh, just as much. Oof, you yeah. can smell it from here. <laughs> you can. <laughs> well, let's take a nose on it before we do anything <laughs> else and check it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. That, that smells- Right off the bat. That smells tart. It's gonna be tart it smells boy. Smells like a beer de garde for me. That's weird. And they say this is a Pilsner, huh? Yeah. Strange. I love that smell though. Yeah, it smells funky. Uh, it smells tart. It smells like uh, almost like berries, uh, like tart berries. Yeah, I get a lot of um, somewhat of a floral essence to it. Definitely. But I'm kind of hoping it's not as tart as I- As it smells. As it smells, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be a Pilsner, um, so it, you know, I'm hoping it's a little, at least a little along those veins. Yeah. I hope there's not too much oakiness from those barrels. I've never seen a Pilsner aged at all. Yeah. Really? I mean, in oak barrels, okay. Not to mention soured, right? So. That's weird. Yeah, uh, that's that's a bizarre thing. So as we all know, Brettomyces is a protein strain that, uh, is found in yogurts and cottage cheese and milk and all that stuff. Um, and it basically um, makes your beer tart. It's a souring um, agent, I guess. So uh, that's the weirdest combo I've ever heard. A Pilsner with yeah. Bretomyces in it. I mean, usually there's a reserve for sour beers for actual fooder aged barrel aged sour beers, not for so much Pilsner. So right. this will be an interesting uh, experiment here. Anyways, um, yeah, I guess the only other thing to do is dive right in and see how this tastes. Cheers. Cheers. You know, hmm. this kind of reminds me of, Well, okay, first things first, there's a lot of yeast quality happening in there. Tons. Tons of yeasty breadiness and grape essences. Um, and yeah, that tartness definitely comes through. But it's got this sort of dry, um, almost wine characteristic to it. Yeah, it has like, like that, um, it's like kind of like a, a dry, crisp, yeah. Finish to it, which is what you see in Pilsners. If you were to drink a white wine, you'd get much the same finish. A drier white wine. A dry yeah. white wine. A white, right, right, right. Unfortunately, I'm not getting so much of that Pilsner yeah. quality. Um, it's, it's there, but you have to search for it. Like, the overwhelming quality to this is definitely that Bretomyces, yeah. that yeast quality, and that oak barrel aged um, essence. It definitely tastes like ever so slightly woody to me. Yeah, I'm not really getting the oak. I can get that because I grill a lot and I oh, okay. like play with wood and burn it a lot. So I, I can I can sense it, but you really have to search for it. Yeah. I feel like if you didn't know what you were looking for, you wouldn't know. Yeah. You know? 
And maybe it's because, you know, it's a Pilsner, so you don't yeah. want to over. Yeah, exactly. It. That's what I was going to say. It's like they probably didn't want to over overdo it um, and, and overstay its welcome in those barrels, probably. Right. So. so they kind of removed it quicker. Yeah, I just wish it was a little less tart so we can get more of that Pilsner action yeah. coming through. I appreciate the ingenuity and weirdness of this beer. Yeah. Um, but uh, with something like this, I feel like it has to be balanced. Otherwise, you're not getting... Like, if this was billed as a sour beer, I'd be like, man, this is great. But since it says yeah. it's a Pilsner, yeah. I almost want to say, like, I don't think this is as great because I want to yeah. taste a Pilsner, you know? What is yeah. this, uh, 6%, 7%? It's true. I'd like, I like to get a bit, bit more Pilsner action here. but Yeah. But I still like it. I mean, then again, I, I, I still like think the it's style good. Of beer, so. I still think it's interesting and good. Seven point one percent. I still think it's good. It's just it's a bizarre. It's new. Mm -hmm. It's new to me. All these collabs, you know, they always yeah. choose one brewery and they kind of do all the work or whatever. But maybe the other brewery like specializes in that. They're maybe. out of St. Louis, Missouri, so um, we're not really able to get their stuff as as readily as Finback. And, and really, Finback has only been a recent thing, so. It's possible that they just do the sour game super consistently, and Maybe. that's why they paired with them. And they're like, "We want to do something crazy, like Pilsner plus Bretomyces plus Barrel yeah. Age. Let's do it." It's such a bizarre. Like you could have just released a pil. Maybe this was just extra Pilsner that they were like, "What do we do with this extra stuff? We can't. We can't package it. We we miscalculated." Yeah. Maybe they were just like, "Let's throw it in a barrel. Let's get some yeast from a uh, other brewery or whatever. Who knows? I don't know." I, I like especially like beer de guards and anything that's kind of, um, that uses. <clears throat> yeast and hops. <laughs> All beers use yeast and hops. <laughs> Trick question. Um, Brett. Brettanomyces. <laughs> Brettanomyces. Because mm -hmm. you're right, it does taste and come off, come across as a beer de guard. Yeah. I, I do have to say, I like the, the kind of like the secret hidden cat. There always is a hidden cat on, <laughs> and the, not... on the on the Finback stuff, which is really cool. This cat is telling you the temperature. It's like, Why is a cat? 48 degrees, meow. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the cat telling me the temperature? Because it that's the temperature cat. Remember when we went there? They're, they're like in this neighborhood. They're like in the middle of this like residential zoned place. Yeah. I don't know if that's changed though. I feel like it's a little different. Oh, now really? Than what it was when we went like years ago. Because we were talking yeah. like, man, if we lived literally right there, th yeah. that would be a problem for us because we would just be here like constantly. I like, think I, I just beer. remember it being difficult to find because yeah. the Uber dropped us off and we were like, this can't be right. It looks like it's a place yeah. where like people live, like a residential area. And all of a sudden it was right there on our right. And I was like, oh my God, here it is. Yeah, <laughs> so weird. I don't know if I'm super into it. I think they could have eased up on the on the, the whole barrel aging sour. I, I think they still should have done it, but at a lesser degree. Well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button and maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. It really does help the channel out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.